last month, sports history was made. Robbie Rogers is Major League Soccer's first openly gay athlete. He came out of retirement to play with the Los Angeles Galaxy. When he took the field, he also became the first openly gay man to play on an American professional sports team. Robbie Rogers joins us now. Welcome. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. You did this simultaneously on your blog, the sense of the retirement and uh, announcing uh, your own sexual orientation. So I told my family it was October, November. I was living in London. I told them on Skype. And uh, then I wrote that letter in December. Um, just had it sitting on my desktop for a while. Wasn't going to do anything with it. And then uh, one day I just posted it on my blog, whatever. I closed my computer and, and left, turned off my phone. And um, just started to really miss soccer. Saw different clips of me playing and spoke with different kids that really inspired me. Um, and uh, then I started training with the Galaxy. And after I you know, felt totally normal and, and motivated to come back and eager to, um, I don't know, kind of change things a bit, mm -hmm. um, just made everything perfect. In, yeah. in your blog, in your candid yeah. letter, you said, I always thought I could hide this secret. What yeah. did you do to hide the secret? Oh, um, what kind? Were you I dating mean, I, women? Were you making jokes? What were you doing? Uh, dating women, um, very much just suppressing that side of me. I would say, which is so unhealthy. You know, mm -hmm. I, I look back at like the last 25 years. I'm 20, just turned 26, and you know, it's just like I'm like, oh my gosh, it's crazy. I can't believe I actually thought I could live that way, mm -hmm. and I actually thought that I would never come out. You know, I thought that you know, I just play soccer my whole life and mm -hmm. um, just figure out ways to kind of hide this. So. Um, what did your I parents say? Yeah. That uh, we love you. Yeah, exactly. We that, love yeah, you, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's, yeah, yeah. And, and that really is the best possible news that any parent yeah. can say, and, mm -hmm. and, and the appropriate thing. You retired, intending to come out and not play again. Yes. So if you had, if you had planned on playing, would you have ever come out? I, I don't know. You don't know the I answer know to that? Is, no, I don't. But are you glad that you've come out and the reaction um, to your from your teammates I'm yeah. curious about? Yes, yes, it's been amazing. NBA player Jason Collins has yeah. announced that he's gay. Describe what being gay and being in professional sports is like. Um, so right now, I guess with all the media attention, all the um, just unknown, you know, there's all those questions. But for me, it's just the same as being, I think, an athlete in any sport. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, like do you I think said. That, do you think things will change as a result? Uh, I know things will change. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I definitely know things will change. Once uh, athletes figure out that, um, or realize that you know they won't be treated any differently, and that uh, they'll be judged on their performance, just like any athlete. Then I think you know they'll all feel free to be um, open with people. But Robert, we had a sportscaster here that said the culture in the locker room is very real. Yes. That it's very yeah. intimidated for for men in particular. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Do you think there is something in, in that locker room that happens that makes it very difficult? Yes, definitely. And I would say playing in England, it was even more difficult. Mm -hmm. In the locker room, there is brutal. I mean, awesome guys. I wouldn't say they're homophobic. I would say that pack mentality is a bit malicious. But. Um, here, you know, there's the banter, there's the jokes, and, and, you know, sometimes you hear things that get quite malicious, and that's what kind of scars you and kind of builds that fear. So who could you talk to? Who could you share? No one. I, I, I very much, I would just keep it to myself. I had that much fear that, that if I told people that maybe I wouldn't be able to play the sport, uh, that other people would find out without me being able to tell them, and so I wouldn't tell anyone. You know, I, would, um, I wouldn't even write it down. Like, I was just so, I had so much fear that uh, someone would find out. I was just really scared. So where does your life go from here? Yeah. It's a good question. Um, obviously back in soccer. Uh, still work with my mentor brand in LA. Um, working with different charities that I'm really excited about. You know, it's one of my biggest passions, especially working with kids. Um, so I think just continue to kind of educate myself and, and uh, try to help people and um, get back in shape, play are, soccer again. Are you and, encouraging others to come out? I mean, I, I'd be a hypocrite if I pressured people into coming out because, you know, it took me a while, 25 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, I think that's, you know, what I would love is that, you know, different athletes come out and then they could reach middle America, you know, because they are the heroes in, in Tennessee or in different areas. These basketball and football and baseball players, you know, soccer is getting bigger. It's the biggest sport in the world, but not in the United States. So um, my platform isn't as big as these guys. So I love that, but I, I can't pressure them into doing that. All right, thank you, Robbie. Great to have you here. Yeah, thanks so much.